All right, YouTube, this is your boy Shiloh with Monster Kennel. You know what's up. Go down and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We're trying to get a thousand views. We're trying to get a thousand subscribers. We already got a thousand views. Now we're just trying to get a thousand subscribers. Hook your boy up. Show me the Zeus right here some love. Hit, go down and hit that subscribe button. If you don't know how, hit the bell. If you don't want to hit the bell, leave a comment. You know how it goes. Hook your family up, boys. So this is my vlog for the day, people. We're going to be uh, packing up and leaving Utah, y'all. We're going out to Oklahoma. So, yep. We're going out there. We're taking the kennel out to Oklahoma. As you can see, he's starting to get super strong. That Bully Max is working. If you go back to a few of my videos, you'll be able to see how I give him Bully Max. Uh-uh. I don't feed him the pill. I do it a certain way. It comes in these big horse pills like this, but he doesn't like eating them. So I do it a certain way. You hit that subscribe button, you hit that like button, and I'll show you how I get my dog Bully Max. Fast and easy, and simple, and works every time. As you can see, he's already putting on a lot of muscle. He's pulling me a lot harder. He's a lot harder to control. As you can see, we're going out to uh, Oklahoma. We're going to pick up a dog out there, maybe in Texas. We're going to uh, bring him to the family. Let's go out here. People. He's almost a year old, people. He's only been... He's only right now 11 months old. At the end of this month, at the end of July, he'll be 11 months old. And then we got one more month before he hits a year. And as you can see, he's already thickening up really good. I started off my videos probably about 40 videos ago. I only have 40 videos on YouTube. So we're doing pretty good for having some low videos. Our views are up, everything's up. The only thing that took place was the fact that I hurt my leg. So I wasn't able to make no more videos for this month, but now I'm back out. Videos are gonna come a lot better. Everything's gonna come a lot better. We're gonna have some upcoming more new tricks and obedience with him. No leaving. We're gonna give a shout out to my daughter. She's on the camera filming us today as we're on this walk. Feels kind of good, people, man. Like I said, I been a minute since I've been off the couch, so I haven't been able to walk my dog or do any filming. This is probably one of my first times off the couch, so it feels really good. You know, you guys have any ideas or anything on some raw feeding? Because we've been doing some raw feeding too. He's been eating. He's back on the chicken. I found out what was uh, what he was allergic to. He was allergic to uh, mosquito bites. It wasn't the chicken that was doing it to him. At the beginning of all my videos, he was having problems. He was having bumps. He was having all these like like re allergy reactions and stuff. So I put him in the uh, vet. The vet told me just to give him some steroids. So we did that. Everything worked out great with the steroids. As soon as the steroids went away, it came back. And then I did, I had to find out what was wrong with him. And I noticed every time I took him outside, because their American bully pits run really hot, their fur runs hot, their body temperature runs hot. I noticed the mosquitoes were attacking him. And they were getting him by the hundreds too. So they were biting him really hard and they were leaving all these bumps all over him. Take him out. Shut up. You don't even bark at nobody. You know better. Hey, you know better. Don't you even do it. Yeah, it's no, no aggression. Period. To anything. To nobody. There's no aggression with him. He knows better. You don't ever want your dog to show any type of aggression to anybody at all no matter what they do there's no aggression period to anybody especially kids 
or anything. The only time you want your dog to know aggression is if somebody's breaking in the house. That's it. Otherwise, there's no aggression. Not even when we play does he have aggression. He's not even allowed to show aggression when we're playing tug of war. Anything. But as he's getting older, I notice he's starting to show more of a protective aggression towards people. And that's something we're going to keep working on because, like I said, he's still a puppy. You getting the dog pretty good? Yep. He's looking great, too, to you, too. He's looking good. As you can see, he's looking really good. Like, he's nice and thick. His coat is pretty. He, look, and he looks blue right now, too. I was telling you guys earlier in my videos how he was going to change colors. Earlier in my videos, I was showing you, if you go back to my videos, you'll be able to see that he's fawn brown the whole time. And then now, if you look at him, he got that blue tint because he does that in, in his little nature of breed he has a a, a fawn brown and a blue tint to him crazy too how it works <coughs> you see when i bought him he was super light brown that's why i picked him out of the whole litter because all his brothers and sisters were all blue they were all blue nosed american bullies and uh, he was the only fawn brown bully out of the whole litter. And then when I got him, I noticed he started changing colors on me. He started going from brown to blue, depending on the sun and stuff. And he's badass. Huh. Look how white he's starting to get. His chest. His bully mix is no joke, y'all. I was against it at first in my videos of Bully Max, but show him. I was uh, against Bully Max at first, but after using it for probably about a month now, I think he's been on Bully Max maybe three weeks. I'm liking it. He's starting to look really, really good. Like I said, just go down to the bottom of my page, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, leave a comment. We need a thousand subscribers, people. A thousand subscribers. We already got our thousand views. We need our thousand subscribers now. Go ahead and show your boy some love. We're going to start doing some weight pulling with him. This dog's a beast, people. Ice cream truck. And I've been walking him since he was a puppy. I've been walking him around this block since he was eight weeks old. He was eight weeks old since we've been mopping this block. And now look how big he has gotten. He grew fast. Yeah, he did. I bought him back in uh, November of last year. And this is... Uh, what he's become right here. Like I said, you can find him at my page, Monster Kennel Club. We're down here in Salt Lake City, but we're going to be going out to Oklahoma. We're going to be doing a little bit of Texas to, um, and eating. We're going to eat some food. We're going to do a lot of stuff out that way. Come on. You can go to my other page and watch my family. They do a bunch of cooking and smoking and like a bunch of games and shit. And that family's called, uh, that channel's called the Lairs Family. Show them some love over there. Just hit the bell. Leave some subscribers. Everything. They're doing really good on that channel. We're just one big YouTube family, y'all. So show some love. On YouTube, we're a YouTube family, so show some love, man. Hit that subscribe button. I don't ever come across a person's page if I and I go through their videos and I see a couple videos I like. I understand this dude got his stuff together. Seen it good? 
And uh, I hit the subscribe button, even though I'm not going to watch his videos constantly or stuff like that, but I show him some love. I'll hit that subscribe button or I'll hit that bell. You know, what's, it's not going to hurt me. I'm on YouTube anyway, so that's all you guys got to do is show that love. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, we need a thousand subscribers at the end of this year. So help your boy out, man. If you have any ideas for any dog workouts, if you have any ideas for any like obedience training, just leave it in the comment and I'll for sure they get back with you. That's what I do. I get back with you right away. So But here we are, we just mobbing the block, talking, letting y'all know what uh how I've been and where I've been, y'all. So now we have reached back home now. We're back at the crib. He knows that he had a nice little walk, as you can see. It's time for him to go in and eat a couple of pork chops. He's had chicken all day, but now he's getting pork. Look at this belly on him. Look at that. Look how thick he is, y'all. A big dog right there. Well fed. I changed him to raw feeding probably when he was six months. I think when he was about six months old, I did raw feeding. We're gonna be getting ready to go in the house. As you can see, this is your boy Shiloh over here at Monster Kennel. Show your boys some love. Go down and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, leave a comment, and we'll get back with you as soon as possible. We're gonna go in here and smoke a little bit, chill a little bit, and I'll get back with you in a second. All right, peace.